Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So cancer, this reading will be for you if you have any cancer placements or if you're dealing with a cancer. So um, let's see what's going on for you. First week of August. The overall energy is anything that's coming up, things that you want to know about. Okay, anything obstacles. Okay. Um, all right. Trustworthy friends. This come out for Gemini's um thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love now we all want and need that okay so that's beautiful some of you guys are really connected with it could be people from your past people from your um your hometown your community people from school you ain't spoke to in ages okay you could be visiting them or them visiting you people that hold you up people that inspire you lift you up when you're down okay those kind of people all right okay honor your beauty archangel jophiel thank you jophiel for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty so i feel like um some of you guys i picked this up ages ago this was actually last year and i remembered this reading because it was quite um I was just like, oh my gosh, this, this is really quite sad. So at some point, Cancer, you could have been um, bullied or kind of outcasted for some kind for some kind of reason. Say, for example, in school, you was very tall or very short, or you had a hair type that wasn't desirable to whoever. Do you know what I mean? Um, or something like that, okay? There's something from your past where people pointed out and somebody's actually saying hey look see what you have like that's actually what a lot of people would want or like really see the beauty like i feel like some of you guys are really um accepting and loving you you know for you and i feel like some of you guys it's coming from you some of you guys is a reminder from your friends that are like oh my god cancer i died to have hair like that cancer i died to have a figure like that you know say like you're a bit say like you're you're like me and you're a bit more curvier people be like oh, i wish i can put on weight like you i wish i had curves like you i wish my thighs were thick i wish my waist was small yeah like do you know what i mean there's things that you have or oh, all men you know whatever okay this, this some of you guys are really saying do you know what i am beautiful i am handsome i'm gorgeous i am okay so you no longer reject it, you're, you're accepting it with open with open arms, okay? Beautiful. And we have here signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Some of you guys, you have been asking, um, this could be literally God, a loved one that's passed over, could be speaking to them or asking them for guidance or help or assistance. Some of you, some of you guys that will come in a shape in the form of friends. Okay, some kind of peers here, or um, or you may actually stumble across something. I just got something about stumbling across something online, whether it be YouTube, it could be this video on YouTube, on TikTok, on some kind of social media platform, and it's like, do you know what? Like, it's a reminder about something that's um dear to you. Okay, so like if you're feeling low, it's like you hear something that helps you. Okay, all right so let's see with the numerology cards um, before we get into the tarot section have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon hold your vision and a time for healing right there's something that you could have been um struggling to overcome okay it, it could i feel like it's something to do with um confidence because the ha have faith in your dreams that's about having confidence okay that could be like leo energy there okay that kind of energy that um is needed to be tapped into and we are in leo season so some of you guys really take um advantage of the energy that is about right now okay because sometimes certain don't you ever feel like there's a time to do something and then it's like if you like you know you should do it now but may put, put it off and then in a week's time you just really don't feel like it at all whatsoever so if you have that nudge to do something do it do it cancer okay all right so let's go into the tarot 
let's see just gonna see what comes out so what should what should cancers expect for the first week of august two of pentacles the ace of wands emperor the world ten of pentacles this is big big energy let me tell you something and judgment at the bottom and that would make sense because the two of pentacles right i can put this in a few different ways yeah some of you guys are really i'm an aren i'm an aren mm, should i should i not is it time like i just said said with the oracle cards should I have this new start? Something that really, that I'm passionate about, something that I love. Okay, this could potentially, um, some of you guys are thinking about being self-employed, you're being the boss, okay? Something like that. Also, with the world and travel, the world and travel, the world, you may travel and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys, or this could be literally like online, where you're where, where you're um, actually able to reach out to more people with your product or your service, Okay. Or your whatever it is that you do so like if you have a channel yeah some of you guys have been, have been putting something off but i'm seeing you in this week in the first week saying do you know what i think it is time and that's why i was picking up on it there it's come out in the tarot as well there's something that's going to make you a lot of money cancer okay and you do have passion for this what is the obstacle let's see let's see what's the obstacle for cancer please queen of pentacles the king of cups and the king of swords is this people telling you things is this pe is this people that have told you things in the past that told you you can't do that blah blah, blah. make cancer what i would say is don't worry about what other people are saying don't even don't worry about any of that don't worry about what people think what they say if there's something that makes you happy okay and you know that it's gonna help you like um big time financially it's going to help you with a lot of security and stability i mean forget what those people think okay some of you guys it's, it's something i don't know some of you guys may want um um somebody's um what's the word um when they when they they say like oh, what is that word i hate that that's like you basically you want somebody's support but i feel like really and truly guys like a lot of the times when you do start something for yourself a lot of people will try to sway you away for it oh that's a stupid idea that's this that's that that's whatever oh you have to work these hours you you know or whatever but if this makes you happy go for it i would i would ignore anybody who's trying to be negative or some of you guys somebody could have had um intentions for you they said oh well i thought you was going college or oh, i thought i thought you was going university to do this or oh, i thought you was going to be a stay-at-home mum or stay-at-home dad i thought you do you know what i mean and it's like all these thoughts in your head and it's just not benefiting you it's actually preventing you that's that's where the two of pentacles come into this because without the two of pentacles there this is something huge it still is but it's that should i should i not what like like okay tom all right give me some advice please for cancer page of cups page of swords and the nine of swords this is about communication okay so this this is actually fully um backing me up with what i've just said here page of cups page of swords nine of swords don't worry who's watching you don't worry like some of you guys um it could be something to do with your children as well um where you feel like um like you might not be able to dedicate a, a lot of time into whatever this project or thing is some of you guys it could be a relationship as well i was going to say that but it can be a relationship okay some of you guys could be meet, meet in a fire sign um aries um leo sagittarius we do have um we've got virgo there we've got taurus some of you guys it could be a relationship so either way yeah it's like you're thinking about how it's going to impact other people but i feel like it's something that could really work out well for you whether it's a relationship or whether it's some kind of um something that you're passionate about 
don't overthink here with the nine of swords don't do that that's only gonna delay it i right do you know what i would i would pray about that actually i would actually pray um to your angels about that i know so for some of you guys you'd be like angels pray it worked for me you know it really worked for me let's it, let me put it like this um cancer me praying to the angels and actually i was listening to some very um it was healing music as well actually and it helped me to start this channel because i was so nervous do you know what i mean so you really can overcome whatever this is it's, it's some kind of fear some kind of fear for you Give some more additional advice a miracle of forgiveness archangel jeremiel thank you jeremiel for helping me understand the process of forgiveness you may have to forgive yourself or whatever it is somebody might have held you back for whatever reason maybe you spent your spent uh, most of your life raising your children well, like your adult life raising your children or um you allowed your partner to have their career while you did something else do, do you know what i mean it's like Forgive that situation and go for it, guys. Peaceful warrior, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Some of you guys need to... I feel like some of you guys may have put pe other people's um, careers or their whatever they're doing first, okay? Maybe that's what it is. Some of you guys feel guilty for even considering this. I wouldn't. This is going to make you either very happy, very a lot of money, stability, okay? Things that you can possibly pass down to your children or just loved ones, okay? Do you know what I mean? So go for it, guys. I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.